fellow Diamond Painting Addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne and I'm here today to do a kind of special unboxing. This is going to be my first canvas for my DP for Pets event. Uh, if you haven't heard about the event, I will stick a little information sheet over there. Basically, DP for Pets is going to run from June 1st to June 30th. I am asking that it be a new start, so I'm also going to do a new start, which is what I'm unboxing. And uh, it needs to be at least a 30 by 30. I am allowing partials, and I'll explain why. Uh, I will have an entry form that will open on June 1st, and then I will have an exit form that will open on June 15th that will be open until midnight on June 30th so that you could submit your um, finished photos. So uh, there will be a prize package giveaway. Everyone who finishes um, a canvas will be entered into the prize package giveaway. And a little later in the video, I will show you uh, some of the items that are gonna be included in the prize package. I have, um, some people who have sent me some things that I'm going to be including. I haven't got all of that put together, but I pulled out some of the major items that I'm going to be doing from my supply. And so I will get into that in a minute. But anyway, so I'm going to be opening. This is the canvas. Now, I'm hoping to do more than one canvas for the event, but this is the one I'm going to do first. So uh, let me cut off the plastic here because this has not been unboxed before. And what I'm going to be working on, it's a round and it is the bubblegum spaniel. And that's why I said that partials would be okay because I am doing this and it is a partial. The Only the dog and all of the stuff is diamond painted. The background is um, not so, but uh, like I said, I plan for this to be my, hopefully one of several that I finish for the event. So, but I just got this one um, a while ago, but I thought he was super cute. And so I wanted to get to save him for this event. So, okay. So here's my little sticker that I will put in my diamond painting log book. Uh, this is something I purchased a while ago, so this is an older Diamond Art Club kit. So you get the boat, a plate of heart wax, a squishy, a pen, and baggies. Oh, and there's another piece of wax in there. Oh, along with the multi-placing tip, there is also a four-placer in there. So, nice kit. Okay, so let's get into the canvas here. I'm excited, you guys. I've actually seen a lot of um, this artist's stuff, and I'm curious to know what it's like and whether I'm going to like it enough that I want to go back and get more. Some yucky stuff on the canvas. Okay, it's on the back, but still. Okay. Schmutz from the factory, I'm assuming. Okay, so let me roll this the other way and then ew, lots of schmutz on this that I'm gonna have to clean off okay let me roll this the opposite direction so I can get to the drills and everything else and then we'll see okay so here is my sticker oh it's new enough that I get the um, pre-cut printed sticker, so that's good. Here's the larger size um, sticker. Like I said, it is a round. It is 16 by 19 or 41 by 48. And I've got 27 colors, and it looks like one of those is an AB. So we have instructions. I never use those. Here's our drills. Gosh, that doesn't look like very many drills. So yeah, definitely hoping that I'm gonna be able to complete this one pretty quickly because I do have a number of canvases that I would like to do. So here we go. Uh, let me clean some of this off. This canvas is kind of dirty. The, it's unfortunately underneath 
not on any place that I'm going to be diamond painting, so that's okay. But I just thought he was so cute. So you diamond paint the little pieces of bubble gum, the cup, the dog, and that's it. So diamond art club, soft canvas, uh, scalloped around the edges. We've got a schematic on both sides, top and bottom, 27 colors, 1AB. Symbols look gorgeous and clear as usual. So let's see, where my ABs go? Okay, so in looking at this, there's some in the polka dots here in the bandana. There are a couple here in the eye, the bubblegum shine here, some on the side of the cup, and then various little places in the candy here. So, hmm, I don't have a lot of, hmm, I was going to say I don't have a lot of round ABs, but I actually do because I use them for Diana. So I might have to go back and see if I have any other colors that I could substitute that would be fun. Ooh, if I have like a red or something I could substitute, that would be fun to put in the bandana or on the, the sunglasses. So I'll have to think about that. Okay. So nice and sticky. It says it is a 41 by 48. So let's measure. So it's not quite 41. It's 40 and a half, a few, few millimeters over. And then this way, let me make sure it's laying flat here. This way it is 48. So it is 48, but not quite. Well, I guess it's a little over 41. No, a little under 41 is what I said. 40 and a half. So, yeah. It looks really good. So let's dig into the drills now that I've measured it and see what we've got. Okay, so lots of pinks and reds, obviously. So Diamond Art Club, I do see some dimples on the drills, but nothing terrible. Doesn't look like a lot of trash. So yeah, all right, so let's look at colors. So what do we got? We've got a gray, we've got a brick red. That's all the black that's in it, so that's good kind of a berry coral color, a brown, a coral, a dark red, kind of a very pale peach, a brown, like a, a, I don't know what to call that color, it's like a chocolate or a mocha color maybe, a tan, ooh, there's our ABs a peach, another kind of light brown, a red, a very dark brown, a very pale pink, a bubblegum pink, a brown, and then a red. And then in the second one, we've got some more pink, bright pink, kind of an orangish brown, another kind of tan, a very pale pink, a pink, darker pink, and then two bags of this kind of bright pink. So yeah, lots of fun colors in this one. I'm excited about that. And so the reason, let me get these all folded back up in here if I can. How was this folded? You guys, really, I think I spend more time folding up diamonds, trying to get them back how they were than I do actually diamond painting some days. Okay. Let's see if I can get these all back in here. I will be kitting this up shortly so that I have everything ready to go. And that was something I was actually talking to my husband about. 
I suddenly realized I've had a lot of people asking questions about the event, which is great. But I was like, okay, I'm going to post it closer. And then I suddenly thought, okay, <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Of course, it's all in my head. So I've already been doing prep. And it didn't occur to me that I needed to give you guys a little more time to prep. So I apologize for that. When I do my next event, I will keep that in mind and I will give people uh, more notice of announcements and things so that everybody can kind of figure out what you're doing and get everything ready. So, so uh, here is the Bubblegum Spaniel from Diamond Art Club. And this is going to be the one that I'm doing. So the first one anyway. So yeah. So as you can see, partials are fine. I'm okay with that. Um, I just want it to be on the pet theme. So there's the Diamond Art Club. And then the other reason, I'm going to move this aside for just a minute. The other reason that I was okay with it, because one of the things that will be in the prize package is this kit, which is the Maine Coon and Cupcake which is by the same artist that did the um, Bubblegum Spaniel that I'm going to be doing. So the kit is part of the prize package. And then I'm also going to include some storage. I'm going to include a pen. I'm going to include some washi tape, some cute little cover minders, and a tray. Now, these are all items that I have purchased um, so I don't, none of the, the people whose items I just showed you are sponsors or anything of this event. I purchased items that I wanted to, and or made items that I wanted to include um, in the prize package. And I do have other things that I'm going to be adding to that. I just don't have them ready to go to show everyone yet. So hopefully that gets everyone um, a little excited. Again, the event is gonna be open to everyone, uh, US and international. So pick out your canvas and figure out what you're gonna do and when you're gonna do it. I am going to be working on this one first so I can do my little bubblegum spaniel. And uh, like I said, I intend to do more than one, but I wanted to get this one unboxed so I can get it kitted up and ready to go. So I will be posting a little closer to the event uh, information on YouTube. You, I will hopefully be posting information later this week on Facebook and Instagram. So if you follow me in either of those places, check those out. Uh, hopefully I will have more information up for you guys. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at diamondpaintinganonymous at gmail.com. And yeah, so there is my unboxing of the Bubblegum Spaniel by Diamond Art Club. And my uh, first project for my DP for Pets event. So I hope you can participate, be watching for additional information. And yeah, thanks for all the excitement, guys. I'm excited too. Before you leave, guys, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.